Uh, our colleagues, others are old and forth in the house, the others who are moving, but they are here with us, both in prayer and in spirit. So, uh, somebody has requested for two minutes, are we ready? ready? Yeah, we are ready. So, what as, the, on, as on behalf of our colleagues and as Kenya Kwanza senators in, in here in Senate, we want to state three things. One, we want to thank the, the police for doing a fantastic job across the country. 99.9% of the country is calm. Normal working conditions are close the country, except a few pockets that we have seen for the last, uh, for the yesterday. While we empathize and sympathize with Kenyans who have lost their lives, unfortunately, yesterday, I have had people making assertions that there are extrajudicial killings happening by the police. That is misleading the public. We are aware there are criminals who are infiltrated the demonstrations by Azimio One Kenya Alliance. As uh, colleague senators, we have indicated that we, the police are doing very well. They continue to protect lives and property of each and every Kenyan. And therefore, they use force where necessary, especially they are, when their lives is in danger. There are many structures that are in place that can be used at any given point to ensure such grievances are. But what you observe as Kenyans, you can see how can you handle people who are throwing stones at police and rocks and firing live uh, bullets. We ask the police to continue at arresting any person who wants to disrupt the peace of the country. I have, uh, secondly, is that we are also taking keen interest. Our colleagues, are, colleagues have indicated that the ICC should take a keen interest. The instigators of violence are known and chaos in the country and lawlessness and anarchy. It is Raila Odinga and Uru Kenyatta who are sponsoring all these chaos in the country. You have heard the president that we will protect the country against economic saboteurs, lawlessness, anarchy, and violence against innocent Kenyans. We also appeal to ICC and we are documenting all these insistences that are being sponsored by opposition leaders against ordinary Kenyans who are peace-loving Kenyans. Their lives have been disrupted. This is no longer about Article 37. These are acts of criminality. These are acts of terror against Kenyans who are going around their businesses. So we want to ask our colleagues to stop these crocodile tears of alleging things that do not exist. Number three is that while we urge Kenyans here in the city of the Republic of Kenya, if our brothers follow the constitution, as they want us to believe, especially as the one Kenya lands, Raila Odinga and Uru Kenyatta, which constitution are you following? Yet the constitution on different occasions have called upon that these matters have been decided and adjudicated upon. Finally, we want to tell the country and our supporters across the country, there shall be no handshake, there shall be no cooperation, there shall not be no consultation, there shall not be Nusum Kata government, and there shall not be no any job that will be offered by to Raila Odinga or any, or any concessions from the government. What I can say, there is a song that says, uh, that has been sung by some young Kenyans, Kwaende waskia vibaya uko kwao. And therefore, with those many remarks, I allow a few colleagues to comment. Senator Maina can go first. I want to tell the Azimio team that there is still a window open. I sit in the, as, uh, as I sit in, in the bipartisan team. There is still an opportunity for them to have an engagement that is within law. And this is what we told them. We can only engage within the Constitution of Kenya. And among them is not an issue as regards power sharing. We went into elections in the year 2022, August. We went before the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court pronounced itself, and they slept for a period of four months. Woke up, talked about servers, talked about IEBC, that we went through the law, both in the National Assembly and the Senate, passed the relevant laws, selected the, uh, the panel that is dealing with the IEBC issue, and none of them has challenged that particular law. None of their members who sit both in the National Assembly and the Senate has brought in any particular legal amendment to the law. So we are asking them, if indeed they want to deal with the issues they have raised, we have that platform. There is no other platform, and we are saying as Kenya Kwanza, there is nothing called the handshake, 
there is nothing of the coalition that we will encourage, that we will support, that will ever succeed. I ask Kenyans to protect themselves and protect their property from those who are committing local or domestic terrorism. <laughs> Be that as it may, we are vigilant, we will protect ourselves, and Kenya Kwanzaa is there to protect the interest of all the people of Kenya and to deliver on the mandate that we have in our manifesto. I thank you. Kenyans will be very proud the day you demonstrate on the streets, you go back to your homes, you make ugali, you greet your neighbor, and both of you become friends in spite of your difference in opinion. I would want to say this. You have looked at the kind of losses that have been meted out on Kenyans. And we want to thank the police and even thank the CSs who gave a warning, the CS for Interior and the CS for Education, who first in initially gave a caution that the children should not go to school because last week some people had taken advantage of demonstration and caused mayhem in Kimbuni Primary School. To avert that, the government took a measure, ensured that they cautioned against children going to school to avoid schools being used as shields by demonstrators. Why? Because this government cares about the citizen. It cares about the rights of citizens, the rights of children. It cares about the Kenyan citizen. If you will notice, the government has rolled out a plan for fertilizer to enhance production of food so that at the end of the day we are able to bring the cost of living down. The cost of living and the cost of food did not just go up within a day when the current presidency took over. No, it had gone up even before this government took over. And what the government now is doing is to work down that cost of living to ensure that every Mwananchi is comfortable to live in Kenya and can attract another African to come and live in Kenya. And we must work together. And there are institutions, if you feel aggrieved, there are institutions in parliament, we do not know why our colleagues are not using the platforms that they have been given in parliament. Let them use the available institutions to ventilate their disputes and grievances, and we believe we should have a peaceful nation. I want to wish all Kenyans peaceful moments, and not to demonstrate, and tomorrow to wake up early in the morning and go back to their work. We are in parliament, we are working, members of the fourth estate are all here, and they are working. Let's go back to work tomorrow. Thank you.